Okay, we're going to attach the legs. Now, I attach the legs before I attach any tails because uh, the tails just kind of start getting in the way. Remember when we were sewing things up here, the ears can sometimes get in the way and a tail just even causes more problems. Now you can see I've gone ahead and I've put a couple of marks in here and even a couple of marks on this side. Now you'll notice that they don't really look that similar to this side. And part of the reason for that is if you look at the little pig here, you can see that this part isn't incredibly centered. Now, that's just how it is. Felt will stretch and move on you, and sometimes that can be a big help, and sometimes it can be a little annoying. And right now, it can be a little annoying. So we're just gonna go with it because we want the legs to be as even as possible. So I went ahead and put these, these marks on here. And one of the, one of the ways that, that I make sure that I know then I'm going straight across, okay, as I'll stop and look, and can you see how crooked that is? You see how it's going in a diagonal? And you can see that's how I defined where I was going to go. That's a little straighter. I've got a little wiggle room in there. So what I'm going to do is I've got two, two strands of, this is a pearl cotton, uh, on my two and a half inch needle, and I'm going to pull through. Okay. Now I put a pretty large knot here because, again, felt sometimes things can pop through. And we're going to be kind of tugging on this a little bit. So I've got all the little legs and I want to make sure that this color goes to the inside because that's the tummy color. So um, if you put, if you put the, sew the leg on way down here, you're going to have a very short piggy. <laughs> if you sew it way up here, you're going to have a very tall piggy. Um, I honestly just try to aim for within this this part up here. Uh, when I say to people, I honestly just do not measure, I, I don't measure. Uh, that's not a really good way to do it, but mm, here I am. Um, okay, so I put a stitch in here, and now I'm going to be attaching this leg. I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, so you can see... It's, it's really close and I don't want to have any, sometimes you'll get these weird little bubbles or I call them bubbles, little loops of extra thread here and you don't want that because it can sometimes gum things up, make it a little harder to sew. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right back through and aim for that knot. Okay, and on this side, I'm just going to watch and make sure I'm pulling tight so you can see there is the first little leg that I'm sewing on and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this one down I'm going to make sure that I've got this one facing the direction that I want it to go okay and and go through one side make the stitch in the past, I have also sometimes used buttons and washers and buttons as washers um, to help this, but I think this is the, the easiest way to do this um, for teaching other people how to do it and making it a kind of a quick project. So I've got this leg here. You see it's kind of dangling a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to turn it around. You can see I've got my thumb and my finger. I'm kind of holding things here. Now, this is, I'm pushing the needle through. You can see it's like, whoa, wrong place. And whoa, wrong place. Wrong place, getting closer. Na -na. Uh, I'm almost there. And this is kind of a hard thing to teach. There's some, some feel to it. You can see I've come right up through that that same stitch. Now sometimes you'll need to use, if you can't quite pull it, if you have a pair of pliers, that can sometimes help to pull things through. Your tweezers won't be quite enough, have enough strength on them to pull it all the way through. So any kind of pair of pliers. Now you can see I'm giving this a pretty good tug. You can see that the stitch dimples in a little bit. And then just to make sure that my piggy I don't have one one leg way wildly in the wrong place. I'll kind of 
set it and make sure you can see that the bottom legs are, are, are pretty good. You're going to want to go back and forth at least four times. So here I go. That was the first time. That was the first stitch. And I'm going to do this a number of times more. <laughs> there we go. You can see I'm kind of holding and pushing. I'm using both of my hands to do this. Again, I'm going to pull it through like this because I don't want to stress my fingers out too much. And that's two stitches. And then I'm going to do this um, two more times so I have four stitches on either side. And then I'm going to show you how to tie these off. 